Hey there, it's Samuel Larson here. I'm a Shopify certified expert. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can change any text on your Shopify store. Now, this is very useful. Even if you have a developer, you will sometimes see that maybe there's a typo that you really want to fix before you contact them and, and have that back and forth there. So it's good to know how to do this yourself, even if uh, you're already working with other people. And it's actually pretty easy. So I'm going to show you exactly how you can do this by yourself without any coding skills. And there's a few different places where these changes are to be made. And it's good to know the structure in general of uh, Shopify backend so that um, you can uh, make changes and you can feel comfortable as the store owner or with your store. So first of all, there's the product section. Obviously, that's where your products and collections are. Then you have your online store section here. This is where your pages are, where your navigation is, and uh, where you can change those things. And we're going to dive deeper into this section. And lastly, we have our settings section. So this is where your checkout, your store languages, and legal texts are placed. So those are all the things, apart from apps, that uh, bring in those texts from third parties. This is where everything related to your Shopify store and uh, the texts of that store are placed. So let's uh, jump further into this and see what's out there. Now, I have a Shopify store open here. And the first thing you want to do when you think of changing the text is identifying where that text is in the Shopify ecosystem here. So you'd log into the backend and here you have a few different things as shown before you have your product. So if it's product related, product page related, it's most likely here. And uh, even uh, single products, they have their text here, but they might have additional text in the template, which uh, I'm going to open up soon. And it's uh, very easy to edit that text as well. So on a product page level, you have this nice Visivig editor where you can edit those things very easily. Um, that's uh, pretty straightforward. Sometimes you'd have a specific template for a product and I'm going to show you exactly how to edit those as well. That goes a little bit deeper in the code side of things, but it's still very easy to do. Then another thing you have here under the product section is the collection. So these are your categories. Sometimes they also have specific texts. Here's an example of a category with a text. So we have a headline here and we have a headline here on that collection. Oftentimes we'd have some text here as well and it would show up on the collections page. So that would be a way to edit that. Next up, we're going to jump into our online store section. And here we have a few different things. So we have the themes, blog posts, pages and navigation. Themes is uh, where most of your edits will be made. You have uh, the customize section here. You also have options to download the theme file and edit code. And we're going to dive deeper into these options soon. But let me first uh, just open up these backend options for you. So in Shopify, you have a couple of different type of things. Obviously, you have your blog post and those are easy to edit. If you started a blog, you already know where to edit those. Same with pages really, so I'm not going to go that much deeper into this. Navigation, pretty straightforward as well. So you have your header navigation and your footer navigation that shows up on your site here. So this is the header and here is your footer navigation. So that's how to change those. This is the place. Then further on in the settings section, you will have a view like this. So you have your checkout, you have your store languages and legal. So these are the places where you can change uh, the rest of your texts. So checkout is a place where you can change any single text here. And it's a sort of a translation function. So once you go there, so here's the checkout opened up, you have a managed checkout language. And this is uh, for Shopify to show languages in uh, different languages than English, but it also enables the English language merchants to customize any single aspect of their checkout. Notice also that theme has uh, 
some things built into it so here you can uh, edit many of those things as well so it's a good place to come and snoop around if you have uh, something that you'd want to edit in the themes language itself what i always recommend is uh, use the just go to general and use the search translation function so let's say you have something related to check out that um, you'd want to search for you can search with that exact thing and uh, it will show up here so just use the filter to search and uh, you will get pages like this so check out the system check out general and uh, you can go there edit whatever you want and uh, you'd be good to go then just remember to save it from here and uh, you're ready now the last part related to settings is the legal pages so the last thing in checkout you have these uh, privacy policies refund policies etc so this is where you can fill in those and they will show up in the bottom of your checkout when uh, people are checking out so this is where those texts are and uh, we are coming to the end of our shopify backend but the next the most important parts the theme so where do we make changes to this and this is where everything basically lives that we haven't covered so far so if you're still wondering where is that thing that i want to change the answer is coming so first of all you can use the customize function and see if the thing that uh, you are looking to change has already been built in the theme as an option many of them are and uh, this is where you can uh, just easily change them without making any change to the code so for example you can change the headline from here uh, let's say it's right here so heading welcome text etc but in many cases the thing that you're looking for would not be here and for these special cases we will make those edits into the code itself now you don't need to be a coder you just basically we are finding this text that already exists and editing it straight up there so let's uh, go into that now there's two ways you can do this you could do it uh, by editing the code from here which uh, in my view is the com more complicated way i'm going to show you the way i prefer because if you use this way you basically have these uh, very complicated templates it looks a bit intimidating and uh, you might easily be a bit lost so instead of that let me show you what i do so what you can do here is uh, just download the theme file and this is going to send it to your email you'll just go to your email pick it up and download it to your computer unzip it and uh, let's uh, jump into that all right here we have a theme file ready and uh, i've identified uh, an example here that uh, we could search from this theme file so let's say we want to change this uh, text here now this is uh, the contact page that uh, exists inside of shopify so as you notice, um, there's nothing here, but uh, we have this little template suffix pointing us to page.contact. Now let's say you didn't even know this, you could uh, still search for this. So I'm just gonna search from this within this program. So it's just a string to find, and it will find that template. So this is the template that we need to change. And then uh, we'll just find out which uh, text here. So we can, uh, see here all right it's that text and uh, we will just change it like this and uh, save it and upload the theme file back up in shopify now let's say you don't have uh, winrar here in those cases you can either use um, your google drive onedrive dropbox whatever they will be able to search the file or in some cases uh, your windows or mac will also be finding it depending on your settings for indexing so that's a, a sort of a way to store files but uh, that's it i hope that was helpful hope you enjoyed it hope you learned a lot and most of all i hope next time you will have this kind of situation you are not forced to call your developer in the middle of night and uh, make that tiny change that um, 
you really want to get done right now. So that's it for this tutorial. I'm gonna add a lot more Shopify tutorials, e-commerce growth tutorials, e-commerce conversion rate optimization tutorials, anything that will help you on your journey as a Shopify and e-commerce merchant. So make sure to subscribe to, for the video. If you have any questions regarding this, you can ask them in the comments. Let's clarify all of those for you. And uh, if you want videos like this in the future, make sure to like the video as well. Helps me to get motivated. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.